What's going on to you Virgos out there? So you have the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, and then you have the Chariot right here. So um, I just would like to say uh, shout outs to Virgo to God, um, aka to Monica. Shout outs to you. Uh, I sent her a $10 cash app, but I also wanted to go ahead and give her a shout out. Uh, I didn't plan on sending her a $10 cash app. I literally just woke up. Uh, one day right recently two days ago and i was just like i'm just go ahead and send her this cash app well because why not right just random act of kindness i don't know why but anyway the point of the matter is shout outs to you um hope your channel grows uh, and all that good stuff i'm gonna go ahead and post your uh your uh youtube channel in the comment section i hope you don't mind uh anyway so for you virgos right uh, you Virgos have the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, like I said, and the Chariot card. Now, the Wheel of Fortune and, and the Chariot both represent the zodiac sign the crabs, right? If you know what I mean. I can't say the C word, so I just have to use the animal. Uh, crabs, because I'm never talking about the problem. I'm talking about the zodiac sign, but whatever. Anyway, um, and then you have Scorpio. So the crabs and the scorpion are higher and lower octaves of one another, right? Um, this very much so is about how you are, a lot of people are upset at the fact that you Virgos, like I said before, you're freeing yourselves. The plan was never to have you Virgos actually free yourself. The plan was always for you Virgos to waste your time. You know, I know a lot of Virgos um, have their time wasted and to be quite honest with you to be transparent this is why my attitude is it this is why my attitude is stink when it comes to m me particularly doing dating and relationships in in the united states in the 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 states specifically right because all of this time all of this wasting my time all of this not telling not doing anything that i want them to do i don't so but what i do get is stress and games but i don't get any anything but then i'm expected to just accept all the nonsense but i don't get any reward whatsoever but then you want this that and the third and i'm expected to give you this that and the third and and you want me to do this for you but then at the same time once again i don't get anything you know, plenty of people waste my time. You know, like I said before, one of the times I hung out, I'm not going to say too much, but somebody came to hang out two, three o'clock in the morning from northern New Jersey. Grown adult, 38 at the time. I was 25. Like what what are we what are we talking about? And then you mean to tell me that in broad daylight people can't actually follow through? They gotta waste my time and stuff like this. So for me, my my specific attitude is think about it because dating for me, right, I have outgrown dating in in the collaborative states, the fifty states. I have outgrown dating in that. And the thing is is that because of it, a lot of people don't like it. Because now I'm not allowing people to just sit up here and waste my time just for nothing. You know, if a person is wasting my time, I'm just going to dub them, block them if it's online, or just stop texting them and just don't reach back out. Why? Because there's no action being done. Yeah, you again, talk is cheap. You're doing a lot of talking. But where are the actions? You know, I've come too far and I've lived too long. I'm about to be 33 and literally in the next couple of days on Tuesday, moving forward for the, for the next year after that, I'm about to be 33. I've seen this type of wasting my time for years. When are people going to stop wasting my time? So again, this is why I do get to be like, yeah, this is whack. Same thing for you Virgos, right? Hey, you know, all these people wasting your time. When exactly do you Virgos get a chance to be like, yeah, this is whack because it is whack. 
When will they stop wasting your time? When will they stop wasting their own time? Because a lot of this stuff is them wasting their own time too. Let's not forget that. Why are they here all up in your face talking to you if they know good and well that they're not actually really going to do anything? They're just talking, but they're not actually going to actually get anything done and handle anything and do anything. Why are they wasting their time? Time that they can never get back. What are they doing that for? And see, this is why a lot of you Virgos realized at some point that it is becoming a waste of time and that, you know, you, you do have the privilege to the right and the privilege to cut people off at any given time. Because honestly, what is I'm seeing here is, is that with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot, honestly, right, the Ace of Wands as well, right, which is the next card. A lot of people really expect you Virgos to, to like, they're upset at the fact at, at you Virgos cutting them off very soon because they are they were expecting you Virgos to give them absorbent amounts of time, to, to be overly patient and tolerant of them and wait, you know what I mean, years and years and years for them to, to, to make the transition from being an idiot and dysfunctional to now being functional and ready and willing to be in a relationship and and you know you know you have you virgos have to take time to get to know this person right it's, it takes time to mature and a lot of you and the thing is that's what they're upset about because a lot of you virgos are like no you don't because you've seen this type of situation before you know that you're not going to get anything from somebody who acts like they're an idiot because you're not even seeing any kind of potential. See, Nipsey Hussle was never a gangster like that. He was, and I'm not gonna tarnish Nipsey Hussle's name, but the reason why a lot of people think that Nipsey Hussle was the, was the, was the gangster or whatever, or G transitioning from being G to now being like a business owner and stuff like this was because Nipsey Hussle told it, said it in a lot of his interviews that he never really wanted to really get into the game like that, if you know what it is. He, if you really pay attention, he really got into the game and stuff like this because of the fact that, you know, he he was he was influenced in that sense because he hanging around people, he trying to make friends, he hanging around people from that type of element. So he just decided, okay, he might as well just dive into the deep end or the pool. And that's what happened. He was he was gonna he 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 and he said it he he was gonna he was already trying to make the transition from hustling to to in that way to being a legitimate business owner from the very beginning he said it in a lot of his videos so that whole mentality of a person steeped in dysfunction and then you you need to stick you know you need to stick around and wait to see if I make the transition from that to something great. No, a person already has to have that internally inside. If they don't, it's a waste of time. That person is only stringing you along, and you Virgos realize that. That's why a lot of people are upset because they want you to waste their time, waste your time on them, and you're not you're not allowing them to waste your time to waste your time they're wasting their own time chasing up on after you trying to convince you virgos that they'll change when you virgos know good and well that these people are goofy and the thing is that the page of wands represents you virgos are chasing after perfection you're chasing after excellence you virgos have a particular goal a long-term goal, a, a value system. And a lot of you Virgos are actually living up to said value system. And the Ace of Pentacles, it's, it's bringing value because you Virgos are living up to that value. You're bringing value, you're getting value from the way that you choose to live your life right back. The Nine of Cups, however, represents, and you're happy because of it, but it also shows um, and other people's delusion that one day maybe you'll come back and that you, you're going to fall flat on your face because 
you're a born loser, even though that's not even really the case at all. They're, they're just being delusional about that. You got a lot of people who are really upset at you, Virgos, that y'all have reached whatever age y'all are and y'all are like, listen, because, and I'm gonna go ahead and ask it here. When do delusional people really wake up? Like I remember, like real talk, like I remember being a youngin watching people play games. I'm in my 30s, going into my mid 30s in the next couple, in the next one to two years. And people are still playing the same games that, I, that they was playing, that I saw them when I was a youngin. When I was a teenager, when I was an adolescence, I used, I was, observe what was going on. I still do. I never changed on observation. I only got better with observation as time went on, as I got older, as I learned how to be more observant. You understand what I'm saying? How to, how to, how to understand the world around me because of my observational skills and everything like that, right? So when people, I'm in my thirties. So when are people going to stop? When is a person actually going to say, Hey, thing let's do this legitimately give it a try if we're compatible and you want to let's keep going if not okay then no they no, i i didn't want to do that because i didn't want to offend you cat you didn't want to do it because you're a chicken squat because you because you telling me this means that you not afraid you not afraid of what I would do because you're telling it to me right now. So you know good and you feel comfortable enough to tell me the dysfunction, which means that you, which means that you comfortable already to, 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 you could have told me straight up. You ain't want to tell me straight up because you wanted to be ignorant about it. Tell that type of nonsense to the next person. You feel so uncomfortable with telling me this because I'm a wild individual and all of this. Okay, so if I'm so wild, why are you why are you feeling so comfortable to tell me this? How many of you Virgos been through that? Where you seen people play games with you and waste your time, and yet they're still trying to do that. It's like, when are these people actually going to really be about something else? This is why I say that in our lifetime, Virgo, we are witnessing the changeover of dating and, and relationships, that a person who's playing these games, they gon' they gonna be looked at as poo putt. For all for people who, who live in New York, you know what that means. They're gonna be looked at as lame, weak. They're they're gonna be the ones that's fool. They're gonna be the ones where people are gonna be like, oh, okay, you playing games, I'm gonna take advantage of you. Cause you playing. So I'm gonna show you how good I can play you because you like playing games with people. Okay, reverse Uno. So now, every I, I keep saying it, everybody's gonna have to get real at one point. They don't have a choice because all of that, okay. Now what's gonna happen when people start only parasitizing off of the parasites who want to parasite off of healthy people? Keep them in check now. And it's already happening. So the Five of Cups now, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups is about, again, some of you Virgos are praying. Some of you Virgos are meditating to, to essentially uh, uh, change your circumstances around. You Virgos are on the right path. And I don't mean the right path in the sense that, you know, left hand versus right hand. I'm talking about you're on the correct path for you. That brings you the most results right where your spirit is sitting right sitting correctly and um you know the knight of pentacles and the seven of cups you're going to be out here getting to know people and whoever shows you that they are 100 and they're serious about this thing you'll continue to get to know all the other individuals that want to waste their time with some suckers and you're right plain and simple Let me explain something to you. Let me let me explain a story to you that's real talk. I remember one time when I was in high school. 
I dated this individual. I think I may have told this already. I didn't get anything from this person, just a kiss, right? I would have money in my pocket because at that point I was working, right? I was receiving, you know, in, in my school, I was receiving my little stipend, stuff like that. So I was going to school, my grades were getting better. And um, I, uh, I was like 16 um, and I was hanging out with her, right? Supposed to be romantic. I would always go ahead and like contact her and stuff like this, trying to give her a call. Not every day, but it came, sometimes it would be a lot. Sometimes it would be every day. Sometimes I'd take breaks. Anyway, we, we hung out for a couple of months. We hung out for like two, three months. Right. And I wasn't getting anything. The relationship wasn't progressing. Now, now again, within those two, three months, I would call her and be like, yo, I got some money in my pocket. Let's go hang out. Let's go kick it. Now nah, I ain't trying to do it. She want to sit home and play video games. And how I know is because I used to hear the, the, the game console going off in the background. I'm like, okay. Anyway, somebody who was in her class was like, yo, I saw her hanging out on, on, on Times Square, you know what I'm saying? 42nd Street, Times Square, and such and such with some old boy, that wasn't you. So I'm just letting you know they was hugged up together. Confronted her about it. She, oh, fine, if that's what you think, oh, fine. Threw me away, okay. Person stalked me, right? For two, three, four, five, six months. I'm in class, because we broke up. I told her, I was like, all right, cool. You know, class, broke up, all this other type of stuff. And basically wanted to get back together. What was the point of that in the first place? You want to get back together, but then you wasted my time in the first place. What is the point of that? See, this is why it is that I say uh, to you, Virgos, you should be a little bit mean. You should be mean to people that want to waste their time because these people be standing around and it's still this type of stupid stuff still happens today. How people be freezing. I be telling people straight up, I'm not going to spend money on you. So if you expected me to just spend money on you and stuff like that, I'm not going to do anything for you until. Right. I'm not going to I'm not going to spend any any money on you and really start to go in until we get established where this is a actual this is this is an actual relationship the 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 progression of the relationship needs to happen we need to hang out we i need to kiss you i need to get to know you we need to smash we need to hang out and then i'm going to be like okay once trust is built is built once you are down with the things that I am down. Oh, once trust is built and you are down with what I am down with, I can give you, I can delegate projects to you that you can come back with me, right? And, and show me the results that which are going to benefit the both of us for the short and long term, right? For the rest of our lives, potentially if you're still around because you still want to be with me, you still benefit from that, then I can be like, if I'm in position, okay, cool. Show and prove. Because for years of loyalty for my, for my mom and for my sister, for years of loyalty for how they've been loyal to me, for how, okay, they ain't been perfect, but when the chips are down and stuff like this, when they're ready, they can be there for me and stuff like this. I rewarded my mom with solid gold earrings, real. I rewarded my sister with giving her some silver, some, some silver ounces 
and some and some copper ounces, which have value. They actually are assets. They legitimately they are commodities on the market. So they literally have a value. Why? Because I want to reward y'all for the fact that this is just a token of my appreciation. I want to show you that I actually do appreciate you. So what are these individuals around you Virgos for when they're not going to get, uh, they're not going to just as come up, you know what I'm saying? Like they're going to benefit, but you know, even at the very beginning, they're going to benefit from hanging out with you Virgos. Y'all are the smartest zodiac sign, facts. But at the same time, why are they wasting your time just standing around you expecting you to just spend and just do this windfall and just, just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, I don't know, just open, like, like, Mr. Scrooge, open up this vault of just this money and jewels and just offer it all to that little tower stacked that high and stuff like this. No, the relationship progresses naturally as it should. And as time goes on, trust builds. Of course, you're going to go ahead and show them up. So let's clarify the Seven of Cups. The Star card, the Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, and then you Virgos have the Temperance. This is about how you Virgos, like I said before, for you Virgos, you're going to test them out. And when I say test, I'm not talking about do things to get on their nerves. You're going to see. You're going to listen to what they have to say and see what they do. And if they are 100, then you'll definitely be in a relationship with them. You'll reward them with your presence and all the benefits that come along with, with it. If not, they want to act like they're so on par with you and they're superior to you, that's fine. Six of Swords and a Temperance. You'll show them mercy because the Temperance is also about showing mercy as well. It's not just about being patient. Being patient, why? Why being understanding? Why is it temperance? Because it's also about showing them mercy and not being wrathful. You Virgos are going to be graceful. You're going to be the angel. Which is what Virgo can be depicted as sometimes, which is an angel. And you're not even going to go at individuals or look to be disrespectful. You're going to just bow out. Because a lot of you Virgos are beginning to understand more and more. These people are idiots. They so stupid. <laughs> and, and now you're starting to have more and more people come out and be like, yeah, a lot of these people are dumb. Yeah, these people, yeah. They're finished. Their IQ is below 100. Research what that means. But it's the truth, though, for real, though. But... Um, other than that, you Virgos, y'all are actually making the right, you're making the things happen that you needed to. Um, and a lot of you are becoming way more understanding of that you should have been doing this for years. But that's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 20,000 plus subs, right? 20,000 and above, no real defined number. Um, we're at 13,651 subscribers or around smash the subscribe button smash the like button hit the notification bell set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever i drop my videos please leave a comment leave a like this does definitely help the videos to get into the algorithm really appreciate it peace